Hi, this is Patrice Burkhart. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the color harmony wheel. It can be used to complete or sometimes begin a painting. Today I'm going to be completing one. Now this painting has far too much yellow in it. I want to choose cerulean blue as my dominant color. So I'm going to take the pie shape and I'm going to center cerulean blue in the middle of it. And there I go. I've got my harmonious color palette. I sort my materials, set them aside. This is what most of the painting is going to have, those colors. Now the three colors, we can't overlook them. They pack a punch. They're very small in quantity, and that would be the two discords and the complement. The complement would be the cadmium red, and the magenta and the cadmium light yellow are the discords, or as I like to refer to them, the spice colors. So first I would take the complement color. There we go. And if I want to use it full strength, I'm going to use it right around the focal point, which is the sailboat in this painting. If I want to lighten or darken the red with another color on my palette, I can have more of it in the painting. Next, I go to the spice colors. Forget the yellow. I got plenty of yellow. I got to tone that down. So I head to the magenta. Again, if I want to use that full strength, I put it right near that sailboat, the focal point. Now the final touch, I go back to my palette, looking at the biggest area of the wheel, the pie shape. This is how the painting started. And then I started adding my darks, my lights, the values. I can almost hear a little song. <laughs> 